Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director here at Wildlife Images, and I'm behind the scenes, behind our clinic area, in our holding area for patients that are going to get ready to go back out into the wild. We have a really unique patient that we haven't had in years and years and years, a long-tailed weasel. These guys are typically nocturnal. They're very, very fast, very elusive. We rarely get them in. This little guy apparently came in to us from Eagle Point. Its uh, mother was found dead and he was right near her and very lethargic, which is very unusual for a weasel. So we suspect it was probably rodenticide poisoning or poisoning set out there for rats or mice or something that the secondary kill, uh, a poisoned rat or mouse was probably consumed by mom and partially maybe by this little guy. Um, didn't kill him. Fortunately, people picked this little weasel up, brought him out to us. We were able to uh, go through the process of checking him out and getting him stabilized and ready for um, rehabilitation and, of course, subsequent release back out in the wild. He's got some lessons to learn. Of course, they have to learn how to hunt here. They have to learn how to avoid humans. We try to keep our contact very low with these guys, and it's typically weasels stay very wild. Now, if you'd like more information about becoming a a uh, donor, maybe a volunteer, uh, putting us in your estate plan, any of the things that help us continue our mission here at Wildlife Images, you can log on to our website at wildlifeimages.org, get all the information you need right there. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time on another episode of Walk in the Wild Side.